my lab studies a family of proteins called PARPs. And we're trying to understand how PARPs function during normal conditions and also during disease states. PARPs are very important for um, diseases such as cancer because in, uh, in many cases they're misregulated. The majority of PARPs have recently been discovered only about five years ago. And in fact, um, we're discovering new functions for these proteins uh, every day. We very quickly identified some really key and critical uh, new pathways that PARPs function in that could be very important for the treatment of cancers. Uh, one of them was in collaboration with Phil Sharp's lab, where we identified a requirement for uh, five specific PARPs in the assembly of a structure called a cytoplasmic stress granule. And some examples of external stresses are hypoxia, uh, heat shock, uh, treatment with drugs, viral infections. The cell responds by stopping all protein translation. And we're very interested actually in developing specific inhibitors for PARPs for these new stress pathways that we've identified. PARP inhibitors are a class of small molecule inhibitors that have shown great promise in the treatment of specific cancers. Within the next 10 years, what I would really like to see happen is that some of the discoveries that we've made in the lab become translated into some kind of clinical therapeutic.